Hi everyone, I'm back with another video. This is going to be a short one. Uh, but I wanted to put this idea out there and see if I could get some thoughts on this. And this is uh, an idea that I've, I've heard from a couple different... Um, I've read it in a couple different places. I think Pauline Kael, the film critic Pauline Kael, has talked about this. Francois Truffaut uh, talked about this. And I've also heard this idea from some other people I've spoken with, uh, all kind of independently. And I don't remember who used this expression. I think it was Truffaut who used this expression to describe it. But he called this uh, the age of cinema. And what he's referring to is not, not an era in film history, but the idea that in our lives there is a there is a time usually and I think it's usually described as being like late teens to early to mid 20s where uh, for cinephiles you know film enthusiasts filmmakers that during that time in our lives that we develop a, a particularly strong passion for film for watching as many films as we can for delving into as many films as we can and uh, kind of ex exploring all that cinema has to offer. I, th I think that's kind of the, the gist of it. What brought this up was I've been reading Truffaut's book called The Films in My Life, which is a collection of his writing on film. And he talks about, in the intro, um, he talks about his relationship with the film Citizen Kane and how much that meant to him. And it was really the movie that, I, I, it seems like, inspired him perhaps more than any other in his, in his um, own you know, filmmaking. And I was, I was thinking about this because Citizen Kane kind of holds the same place for me. It was a film that I saw, uh, you know, very early on in my interest in film. And I would say more than any other inspired me to go, want to go out and make films of my own. But he says something, uh, Truffaut says something else interesting in this intro that uh, while the film, you know, occupied a very special place in his life and meant a great deal to him uh, as he was kind of coming of age cinematically, that it, it, uh, while he still, while it still meant a great deal to him later on, it it sort of t uh, took a bit of a second place to his primary uh, interest, where his passion had shifted to writing and directing his own films. To and his, you know, I think that his interests uh, became preoccupied with making his own films. Now he wrote the intro. He wrote this in 1975, but I, I get the impression that what he was saying had been true roughly from the time he began making his own films, which, you know, in the late 50s with the 400 Blows. So I think what's interesting about that is it would kind of align with this idea of the age of cinema. You know, if, if we're saying it's like you're, you know, maybe from your late teens, like roughly mid-20s, that, that, that uh, you go through that, you know, period of your life, um, as, as a film enthusiast, I mean, as a cinephile, where your you're, uh, interest is focused as much as possible on... Uh, on watching uh, and exploring films. But I, I was thinking about that for myself, and I, I think that was, that was probably true for me, that there was, uh, you know, that, that during that time of my life, I had a, a especially strong interest in um, exploring as many different films as I could. I, I, I think that's, I, I, that's something that I, I kind of hope that I've carried with me. I, I, I always like to you know, see as many films as I can and, and um, you know, see something done that I haven't seen before, basically. But I do, th I do think perhaps it was strongest for me at that time of my life. And I'm, anyway, I just wanted to put that idea out there. I'm curious if uh, any of you watching this, any of you who make films of your own, you know, did you find that you went through a similar um, relationship with film in your own life? You know, like maybe after, like a after high school and into college or... Um, you know, that, that age range, you know, of like late teens to early, early to mid twenties. I'm just curious if anyone else, uh, feels like they had a similar relationship with film where they became really intensely interested in seeing as much as they could during that time. And then maybe the interest shift slightly. It's not to say that it, it burns out or dies or anything like that. I, I don't think anyone is saying that. It's certainly not me. Um, but just that I think the interests may shift, and it might be something like if you start making your own films, um, maybe you, you know some of that energy and some of that uh, passion goes from watching films to making your own. I'd just be curious what um, you know what you think of that. If you have any uh, thoughts on that, please leave it in the comments below. I think that reading Truffaut's book, as I continue to get into it and read his reviews, it's going to be interesting to 
see if he talks about anything else like that that provides some clues to his own um, thinking about this issue in more depth. Anyway, I'd be curious to hear what you have to say about that. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later.